Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my living room again. This morning we'll have a 90 minute power yoga practice. Just setting up my computer so I can play some music for you again. And uh, we have this great gift of free music from Soul Rising and DJ Taz Rashid as usual. I don't want to get in trouble for playing music that I don't have the rights to or have my videos frozen. So this is the best way I can share music with all of you. And if you are interested in uh, listening to some of the playlists, I have them all on Spotify. And so can uh, so do DJ Taz Rashid and Soul Rising. All their music is there for you to, to download. I just let my computer fire up here. I got everything set up and realized I forgot to get the music started. Hope everybody um, is uh, having a beautiful weekend. I know it's a, a time of unusual circumstances where we normally would be with our families, our loved ones, and uh, I hope you're finding a way to connect whatever way that is, virtually or with a phone, or maybe you're be living with people that you can still connect with. I want to share a story with you in just a moment after I get this taken care of here. So I just had a conversation with my dad and I shared yesterday that my dad um, just uh, yesterday went into the hospital in Calgary where he lives with pneumonia. He hasn't been well for a long time and he's been declining in a lot of ways for a long time and we don't have very many deep conversations and I just got off the phone with him so I'm kind of like wiping away the tears. And the conversation we had was that he believes that he has been struggling with dementia for some time and, and I believe that too and he said to me don't worry the only people that worry about dementia are the loved ones and the family members of a person who has dementia because the people with dementia are in their own happy world they don't realize what's happening and he wants to be at peace with this and wants to know that his children and grandchildren aren't suffering and he asked me to share this message so I'm going to definitely share it with with my family members, but it's just so fresh in my heart. It was so poignant and so beautiful and so meaningful that he wants to be at peace. And in order for him to be at peace, he doesn't want the rest of the world to, that, that he's connected to to struggle or to suffer. And I think that's the message of all of this right now is that we need to be at peace. And it's our reactions to things that cause us to be in a state of unrest or a state of stress. So in the, in, the weekend of Passover and of Easter, a, a celebration of, of spring and renewal, I, I wish that we all can be at peace. And for those of my friends who have uh, family members who might be suffering, might be struggling, or maybe they're celebrating, I wish you all peace. Whatever whatever form your, your life is taking right now, that we can come to a place of acceptance and understanding. And I have these beautiful cards that I shared yesterday there just a little tiny deck of cards I don't even remember where I got them from so long ago but they they're called living peace and they're little intention cards that can help uh, to guide our practice and yesterday the message was for acceptance and today <laughs> the message uh, the the word I guess you could use for maybe a, a collective intention or personal intention is awareness to be aware is to notice multiple aspects of any given situation Awareness empowers you to walk consciously through the doorway of healthy choice. So in our practice today, let's bring in this idea of awareness that we're being conscious of every breath, of every movement, of every moment. And that is really at the heart of it all is to be present here in the moment. So give yourself that gift. Put it up here, my little dementia, and then Stay up there. There you go. Pick a spot, honey. Go in your bed. Okay. All right. Let's begin. Let's get some music going here. I had a special request for uh, an abdominal or core class, which I hadn't really planned on teaching, but I'm going to incorporate some of that right here. So if you're out there, Susan, extra core work for you today. 
gonna check the camera one more time, make sure it's all good and we'll get started. Okay. Okay, I won't, won't be needing my long sleeve shirt here. It's so beautiful, the sun shining right into the living room today. We'll start uh, in a nice tall seat and we'll share an own together before we start our practice. So sit up nice and tall, bring your hands to your heart center. <clears throat> Find your personal and collective ten intention for your practice today, something that you wish for yourself and something for the greater good. And maybe it's the idea of awareness. I know Ram Das used to talk about loving awareness. Either that you have an awareness that comes from your heart or that you love the idea of awareness. I'm not sure exactly which one he meant, but invoke a sense of loving awareness. Together, let's take one sound of OM and dedicate this practice and this OM to anyone, anywhere that you like. For me right now, this is for my dad. A deep clearing breath into my nose. Breathe out your mouth. Four oh, ohm inhale. Oh. And bow your mind into the light of your beautiful heart. Let your heart shine through this practice today. May we all know peace. May we all have loving awareness. Release your palms, come down onto your back. We'll start with three different core exercises. The first one is cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Take your fingertips beside your ears, elbows out wide. Take an inhale breath here to lift your head and chest up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Inhale to lower. Exhale to twist. Beautiful. Keep going for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now extend your legs up to the ceiling. Cross your right leg over your left. Maybe you hook your toes. Lift your arms up, cross your right arm underneath your left, cross at the elbows, maybe at the wrist. Extend into a, extend an eagle pose. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Lift your hips up. Tap your knees to your elbows, draw the core in. Again, inhale to lower. Exhale, lift up for nine. Pulse at the top for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Really good. Release arms and legs up into the air, palms together to touch. Lower your right leg down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale over to the left side. Inhale, lower down. Extend your arms. Exhale to the center. Inhale, lower. Switch your legs. Exhale over to the right. Inhale, extend and lower. Exhale into the center. Switch your legs as you inhale to the left, lower, center, and switch. Right, lower, center, and switch. Keep going, find your breath. Feel free to breathe out your mouth here, a stronger exhalation. sets on each side. Last time. Awesome. Release completely. Stretch out your body. It feels so good. You're earning that chocolate right now. Whatever else you plan to eat this weekend, hug your knees to your chest. 
For me, it's matzo ball soup. Ugh, can't wait. Okay, here we go. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. This time, fingertips behind the ears, elbows out wide. Inhale to lift up, belly in. Exhale, twist to the left. Keep going. Exhale to twist. Eight. Seven. Draw that belly in before you twist. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Lower your head down. Lift up your right leg. Cross the thighs. Maybe cross at the ankle as well. Maybe you tuck your toes under. Arms extend. Left arm under right. Get extended in eagle pose. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your head and shoulders up. Lift your hips up. Tap your knees to your elbows and draw the belly in. Good. Extend to lower. Bring it in. For nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Give yourself a big stretch. We'll do one more exercise. Extend your feet up toward the ceiling. Lift your head and shoulders up, and we'll tap to the right and the left right and left and I want you to try and get your shoulders right up off the mat and then you can start to lower one leg at a time side to side and if you like both arms can go out like we were doing similarly on the other side other set 10 9 8 7 6 either to your side to come up to boat or forward and back to come up to Navasana. I'm going to turn myself around here, forward and back a few times, and then rise up onto your tailbone. Toes are floating. You're welcome to tap your toes down like this if you like, or hold behind your thighs. Maybe extend your shins to parallel and try to draw your chest and thighs toward each other. Stay here or release your arms. Maybe release your legs. Hold here for a count of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Put a smile on your face, it feels better. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Woo. Cross over your ankles, walk, step, or hop back. Abha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Pedal up your heels a few times side to side. Work those hips right and left, right and left. One knee bends, opposite heel presses down. Does not feel good right away to get the core engaged and get yourself centered and strengthened for the practice. And bring awareness to Manapura Chakra, your power center, the abdominal region. And settle into Adho Mukha Svanasana, five deep breaths. Press into your finger pads, thumb and index especially. Draw the eye of your elbows more forward and look between your inner thighs. Bend your knees if you need. Next long back. Last two breaths. Come high on your toes. Ripple forward high plank pose. Hold here. Draw the belly in. Press your hands down into the mat. Shoulders away from each other. Maybe you lower your knees. Try to keep your hips in line with your shoulders. Five deep breaths. If you can come more forward on the toes. As you press the hips down, lift the belly up. Nice flat back. Dome the space between your shoulders. Two more breaths. On your inhale, lift your hips back and up. Downward dog. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank pose. Downward facing dog, three more times. Like a wave, move all the bones of your body. Last one, back to 
downward dog. Behind your toes, bend your knees a lot. Look forward to your hands. Walk, step or hop. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Inhale to rise, Urdhva Hastasana. As you come up, tailbone lengthens toward your heels. Palms reach up and touch, arch back. Hands to heart center, Samastitihi. Inhale, reach up, Ardha Surya Namaskar. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, little back bend. Exhale to fold. Let's move into Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your palms. Walk, step, or hop back. High plank to Chaturanga. You can use your knees. Take a back bend. It can be cobra or upward dog. Your choice. Roll over your toes, extra chaturanga, halfway push up, Adho Mukha Konasana, downward dog, two deep breaths, inhale, and exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, you lift your right leg up to the sky, big breath in, open it up, stack your hip, bend your knee, look underneath your left arm, put a square in your shoulder, straighten it out, back through center, left leg lift, Open it up, step your hip, bend your knee, drop your foot to the right, look underneath your right shoulder, square your left shoulder down. And back through center, one more breath, inhale, exhale. Come on your toes, bend your knees a lot, get light, nice and light, buoyant. Hop forward, all that core strength helps you flow. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Back bend if you like. Fold forward again. One more round here. Inhale, halfway lift. Palms flatten, Chaturanga. You can float back or step back. Lower down to your belly if you like. Take your back bend, Cobra upward dog, thighs lift. Roll over the toes, high plank, Chaturanga. One extra push up, optional. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. This time walk your hands a little bit closer to your feet. Twist underneath your body with your right hand. Reach for your outer left ankle, calf, or thigh, or maybe even your left heel. Bend your knees if you need. Look underneath your left arm. Give yourself a nice twist. Release your right hand. Left hand comes underneath either for ankle, calf, or thigh, or maybe reach for your heel. Try to press your heel down. Bend beneath your right arm. Root strongly into your right fingertip. Release back. Hands walk further forward. Take a breath. You can find your toes. Bend your knees a lot. Get very light. Weight into the finger pads. Maybe you get your hips over top of your shoulders. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana, palms touch back bend, hands to heart center, Samastitihi. Step your big toes together to touch, heels slightly apart, sit your hips back and down, Utkatasana, chair pose. We have a few breaths here, but don't wait to get lower. Get those hips so low that you can sweep your fingertips along the mat, curl the tailbone under, and reach your arms up to the sky. So bring awareness to every aspect of this pose. Weight pouring down through the heels, inner high inner thighs hugging, draw the kneecaps back, arms in line with your ears, your gaze is forward. Deep breath in, and a long breath out. Sit a little deeper, keep curling that tailbone under, feel the connection to your solar plexus, Mula Bandha, Uyana Bandha, your abdominal lock. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale to fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway, lengthen. Plant your palms, Chaturanga. Walk or hop. Cobra, upward dog. If you're taking upward dog, thighs lift. Extra Chaturanga for those of you that like it. Adho Mukha Svanasana, everyone. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Right knee to right upper arm, tap and hold. Inhale, working the core again. Left upper arm, tap and hold. 
Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, knee to chest, round the spine, look forward. Right foot inside the right thumb, left heel down, warrior one, just for a breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lower it down. Take your vinyasa. Slowly through these movements, making your way back to downward facing dog. Find that ujjayi breath if you haven't already. Deep constriction in the throat. Left leg lifts. Quality of humming or ocean-like sound. Left knee, left upper arm. Bring it back. Left knee, right upper arm. Bring it back. Left knee to chest. Look forward, step through. Right heel down, warrior one. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, lower down, take it back. Flow with your leg lifted if you like. Exhale, downward dog. Step your feet together to touch, maybe walk them a little closer toward your hands. Take your knees out wide, sink your hips to your heels, and then come forward again, high plank pose. Feel free to do this a few times if you want to add in a little float. After you squat down, then press into your hands and kick your bum with your heels. Hollow out the front body to get buoyant. After three or four of those hops, come forward, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana again. Sit your hips low, reach your arms up to the sky. Again, awareness of every moment here in this posture. Hands come to your heart. Take an inhale to lengthen. Let's twist to the right. Left elbow outside the right knee. Tend your fingertips. Look over your right shoulder. Stay here. Feel free to open your wings or take a float if you have it. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale back to chair pose. Reach up. Hands come to the heart. Lean forward. Breath in. Breath out as you twist. Right elbow outside the left knee, tend your fingertips. Look over your shoulder, right hip pulls back. Get deeper with the hips. Open your wings, float it out. Take two more deep breaths. Beautiful, come back through center, reach up. Lift your hips and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Upward Dog, or Cobra Bhujangasana, High Plank to Chaturanga, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Dog, Deep Breath In, and a Long Breath Up, Adding On, Inhale, Right Leg Lifts, Right Knee to Right Upper Arm, Stay Here, or Bend the Elbows, Chaturanga, Come All the Way Back Up, Leg extends. Right knee to left, upper arm. Stay here or extend the right leg all the way through. Sweep your left arm up. For extra core, lift the right leg and pulse. For three, two, one. Left hand down, sweep up. Knee to chest, come forward. Look forward, step through. More in the center. Back heel spins down, front heel to back, arch alignment. Let's open it up, warrior two. Big, long stance here, front toes pointing straight ahead, knee over the ankle and tracking outward. Make sure you can see your big toe. Send your arms in opposite directions. Three more deep breaths. Outer right thigh curling un under, inner left thigh rolling open. Can you get that front thigh parallel to the floor? Two more, inhale. Flip your right palm, left hand down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring it back. Stay here or find a bind. Capture your head, maybe left arm behind. Maybe fingers meet behind your heart. Open it up. Again, bring awareness to your breath, to your movement, to your intentions, your dedication. Inhale back through center if you like, straighten your leg for a breath, lower back down. 
Inhale, reach forward. Parsvokanasana, Uttita Parsvokanasana. So options, hand up or arm extended. Right fingertips can come down onto a block or onto the mat. Spin your pinky finger down, thumb up. Look underneath your left arm again. Stay here or half bind. Left arm reaches behind to the lower back, maybe to the top of your right thigh. Maybe right arm reaches under. Maybe you find a bind. You can have to grab your fingers or your wrists. Right hip tucks under, left thigh will open, look up. Deep breath in. Take a long breath out. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Look down. Unwind yourself. Rise back up. Warrior two. Your inhale breath. Windmill your hands down to the mat. Peel your back heel up. Sweep your right leg back as you lower. Chaturanga. Take your back bend. Your choice. Cobra upward dog. Your choice for extra chaturanga. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward dog. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Left leg, lift to the sky. Root your hands, finger pads. Left knee, left upper arm. Stay here or chaturanga arms, lower down. Push back up, leg lift. Exhale to the right upper arm. Stay here. Or extend your left leg all the way through, right arm reaches up, fall in triangle. Or sweep your left leg up and pulse. For three, two, one, right hand down, left leg sweeps up. Bring your knee to your chest, keep coming forward. Step through in the center, back heel down, front heel to the uh, back arch alignment. Open it up, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Legs are far apart here, so much so. Knee is over the ankle, front thigh parallel, so get deeper if you can. Arms extended strong. Awareness of the placement of every fingertip of your gaze. Three more deep breaths, Ujjayi breath. Imagine you're fogging up a mirror, but your lips are closed. Make some sound. Inhale, left palm flips, right arm lowers. Inhale, reach up, exhale, bring it back. Vipurita Virabhadras, an exalted warrior. Stay here or hand to the head, turn it open. Find your variation. Turn your heart to the sky, then deeply into that left knee. Three more breaths. Unwind yourself, straighten your leg if you like, lower back down, inhale, reach forward, Parsvokanasana or Uttita Parsvokanasana, side angle, extended side angle, find your variation, left hand maybe comes down, right arm might spiral around to the lower back or the left thigh, turn your heart open, stay here, maybe you find a full bind, if you find the bind, try not to curl forward, keep the crown of your head in line with your front toes. Look up and over your right shoulder. Deep breath in. A long breath out. A couple more breaths here. Putting in some extra longer holds today. Really get deep into the body. Keep awareness of every tissue, every cell. Last full breath. And look down and wind yourself. Rise all the way back up. On your inhale, windmill your hands down to the mat. <clears throat> back heel peels off the mat. Step back as you lower. Keep your legs floating, Chaturanga. Take your back bend. Make your way to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Extra Chaturanga if you like. Inhale. Exhale. Step your feet together. Bring them a little closer to your hands. Little kind of short feet together, downward dog. Root the mat with your finger pads. Move down into it, grip it tight. And now hollow out the front body so that core work we did at the beginning, really helpful here. Bend your knees and try to float your heels to your bum. Press into your hands, powerful arms. Three more hops. <laughs> it's like the Easter Bunny, right? And then let's hop forward with 
enthusiasm to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale to fold. Get your hips down. Reach your arms up. Utkatasana, chair pose. Deep inhale. And a long exhale. Hands come to heart center. This time lean forward over your thighs. Bring your hands down underneath your shoulders. Step your toes back just a little bit. Straighten your legs. Just like where we're going to hop up into a handstand. Press your finger pads down. Lift your heels as high as you can. Draw the belly in, round the back. And then from here, bend your elbows back just enough to meet your knees. As you bend your knees forward, lean forward into your hands and before you float your toes, if you can, float the toes round your spine. Look forward, round the spine. That means you're engaging your core. Lean the weight into your finger pads and maybe one or both feet come up. Try to kick your bum with your heels. So that same idea that we just did of hopping up. Kick your bum with your heels. Lean forward into the finger pads. Strong arms. Maybe straighten them for three, two, one. And you can step back or jump back. Chaturanga. Take your vinyasa. Extra chaturanga. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward dog. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Inhale, right leg lifts to the sky. Let's add on here. Kundanyasana D if you like, Chaturanga, or float it out. Inhale, bring it back. Fall in triangle, or hook your knee. Maybe extend the leg, lean forward, and drag your left leg until your toes float. Kundanyasana A. Inhale, bring it back. Knee to chest, round forward. Warrior two, again, rise up. But deep into your posture. Inhale your front leg to straight. Heel toe your back foot in, hinge forward. Trikonasana, five breaths here. Feel free to stay in this variation. Maybe you use a block. Right hand can come outside or inside. Maybe you stay or send your top arm over your ear. Utita Trikonasana, maybe with the bottom hand as well. Hold a big giant Easter basket in your hand. Big breath. And gaze down, left hand to left hip. Soften your front knee. Try to keep the right hand light. Ardha Chandrasana. You can use a block if you like. It will be underneath your shoulder. So forward and to the right of your toes. Flex your top heel, press out through your heels. Your leg is active. You know where it is in space. Stay or soften your left knee. Bring your foot in toward your bum. Reach for the outer edge of your foot. You might need to soften your standing leg for this, like I'm doing. And then kick your foot back and up. Ardha Chandrasana Chapasana. Open up your chest. Use a block if you need. Inner blade of your right foot pressing down. And then release. From awareness, hands come to the mat. Right thumb into your right hip crease. Pull it back as you level your left thigh down. Standing L-shaped pose to start. Deep breath in. As you exhale, fold. Walking your hands closer to your standing leg. Pull up on your right calf. Let your head come down. Forehead toward your shin. Left leg lifts up. Slowly come back to standing L shape. Bring your knees together to meet. Left foot is floating. Stand all the way up with all your awareness. Your drishti coming forward and up. Hands to your hips. Lift your knee. Take your knee out to the side. Cross it over top of your standing thigh. Hands to your heart. Get steady and balanced. Ardha Utkatasana. Sit down into that chair. It's a similar shape that we started our core work with. And here you can lean forward, sit the hips lower, find that chair pose still. Find a cobra as well, so chest is lifting, pulling forward. Elbows might hook the shin. 
at the ankle and below the knee. Maybe fingertips come down and maybe hop. The little bunny, hop your right foot back. Plant your hands down so now you have to lean forward to get that shin over top of the shelf of your elbows and your left toes hooking around your right bicep. Lean forward like we do for crow pose and maybe that gives you the space to lift your right toes or extend back. Press into your hands, round the upper back for three, two, and one. Come all the way back. Stand all the way up. Reach your arms up to the sky. Hinge forward, reach forward. Warrior three. Find your balance, reach your arms ahead. You can bring them back if you like, or hands to heart, Virabhadrasana. For three, two, one. Soften your front knee, step all the way back. Open up to the long edge of your mat. Feet are parallel or hip distance. Hands to your hips. We'll take a twist first to begin. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to hinge. Soften your right knee, bring your left shoulder underneath your right thigh, right hand to the lower back, left hand behind. You can stay low or straighten your legs and turn and look up. Try to open your left shoulder more and you look right to the ceiling above you. Try to turn your eyes all the way to the left. Bind, soften your knee to release. Halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale to fold. Prasarita Parotanasana. And I'm just facing forward so you get maybe a better view than you might if I was facing to the side of my mat. Head can come down. You can press into your hands. Push your hands forward and that helps to guide the head down. Any variations here? If you have Shirshasana B, you can go for it. The tripod headstand, just being careful. Pressing into the hands, making a triangle shape with your head and your hands, legs come out and up. And steady gaze. Wherever you are, we'll hold here for five more breaths. Pull your awareness to the breath. Ready to come out. If you're in hips, then slowly come down with control. Awareness of every movement. Heels down before your toes. Everybody halfway lift. And then turn to the front of your mat. Lower your left knee down. Try to take it further back if you can. And when you're ready, you'll rise up. Anjanayasana, low crescent lunge. Cactus your arms. Give yourself a little back bend here. Lift your elbows forward, tilt your fingers back, open your heart as if you could crack it open here and let the light in. Let in anything that's coming out of your heart to come out. And then sweep your arms up to the sky, inhale. As you exhale, fingertips come to the mat, straighten that front leg. Inhale to lengthen, you pick your heel more forward, so left hip, hip, uh, hip is over your knee. Exhale to fold. Again, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold in. You're welcome to stay here. If you want a variation of shifting forward and back, you can. We're working that right heel more forward, left knee more back. Your variation are the Hanuman, the half splits or full splits. Wherever you are, feel free to bow. We have five breaths. start to push yourself up. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders. Take your back knee more forward so you can plant your front foot down. And let's bring our hands on the inside of the front foot for a little lizard variation. 
slide your left knee as far back as you can. Lift up through your chest. And from here, we'll come into another bind. So try to bring your right shoulder underneath your right thigh. Take your left fingertips out to the left. Sorry, right out to the right, left out to the left. And lift up your back knee if you can. It's okay if it's lower. And try to rock forward on the heel if your back knee is lifted. Keep your hips low. Stay here or right hand to the back of the right thigh. This might be enough for you. You might need your left hand for stability. Or hug your outer right hip in towards center. Use the stability of your left toes. Maybe your knee is down. And see if you can reach the left hand behind you and find your fingertips or your right wrist and lean forward into it. Like you could pop right off of those back toes. For three. And for two. And last one. And from here, the option for Kundanyasana B. Right hand comes just to the outside of your right foot, left palm under your left shoulder. Bend your elbows and start to work your right toes more out to the right. You might walk your hands a little bit more about hip distance apart, shoulder distance apart. Lower down, bend your elbows, extend your right leg, and maybe your left toes float. Try to hold for three two, one, and you can walk, step, or hop back, chaturanga. <laughs> Take your back bend. Extra chaturanga. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, and a long breath out. A little flip, inhale, right leg up, step your hip, bend your knee, turn your left fingertips out to the left, de-weight, open it up. Wild thing, and you can go for Urdhva Dhanurasana. Be parallel, hip distance. Reach your right arm for the mat. Two more deep breaths. Press up, arch back. Lift your right heel higher. Press into your left hand. Come all the way back up. Three-legged dog. One more vinyasa here. Inhale, left leg lifts to the sky. Left knee, left upper arm, float it all the way out if you can. Kundanyasana B. Inhale, sweep it all the way back. Cross to the right side. Fall in triangle or hook that elbow. Lean forward a lot. All the way back and up. Knee to chest. Step through in the center, back heel down, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, front leg to straight. Walk your back heel in just a little bit, step or two. Hinge forward, keep going. Trikonasana, pick your variation. Left fingertips light, inside or outside your right foot, maybe to a block. Top arm might sweep over, Utita Trikonasana. Stay here or hold that giant matzo ball this time. Can you imagine? Oh, that would be so good. Matzo ball for everybody. Pull your outer left leg in more. Ardha Chandrasana, right hand to right hip. Soften into your left knee. Step forward, awareness. Back heel lifting, keep it active so you know where it is. Turn your chest open. Find your variation. Maybe you soften that right knee, left knee might also need to soften to bring it in toward your bum. Grab the outer edge of your foot. <laughs> it's okay to use a block. Make things accessible, not easier. balance for three, two, and release the hands down. Soften your left knee to get there. Left thumb into your left hip crease to pull it back. So right side level. Standing L shape, inhale. Walk your hands toward your standing leg. Pull your left calf up with your left hand. Forehead toward your shin. Come 
come back to standing L shape. Super slow motion. Right knee comes to meet your left. Keep your foot floating. Stand yourself up. Use the stability of your strong core. So active today. Take your right knee out to the right. Cross it over. Hands to your heart. And inhale to lengthen. Find cobra here right away. And sit back down into it. Ardha Utkatasana half chair. Maybe hook your elbow. Maybe palms come to the mat. And if they do, take a little bunny hop back one step. Keep your hands where they are. Flatten them down. Take your shin bone onto your bent elbows. Right toes wrapping around your left bicep. Round the upper spine. And this gives you the space to lean forward. Maybe extend all the way back. The Kapada Galavasana. Come all the way back. Keep your leg floating if you can. Stand up. Bring it with you. And a smile on your face. It feels good. And there's chocolate pro probably at the end of this. <laughs> and the goal in mind. Virabhadrasana three. Left hip pulling back. Right thigh forward and down. Find your balance. And step back. Open it up. Hands to your hips. Deep breath in. And a long breath out. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. And this time bend into your opposite knee. Should be your left knee. Wrap your arm underneath. Left arm behind. Find that bind. You can stay up high or start to straighten your legs. And this time, turn and look up to the right. Maybe grab your wrist, your left wrist with your right hand. Make wrist release as well. Inhale to lengthen. This time you can take a forward fold if you like, or samokhanasana, wide legged splits. You can stay uh, with the outer edges of the feet pressing down if you're pretty high up. If you can get your forearms down or even lower, press your heels out and toes up. Wherever you are, five deep breaths. Feel free to go for sheer shasana B again if you like. Practicing total awareness here of your mind, of your body, of your spirit, and your breath. And as you're ready, start to make your way back into that halfway lift. Inhale to lengthen. Twist to the front of the mat. This time, right knee lowers down. Slide it back. Lift your arms up, Anjaneyasana. Pull your outer left hip back, right thigh forward. Reach your arms to the sky. Sink your hips low. Cactus your arms. Find that heart opener. Try to root the tailbone down as you lift up and out of your pelvis. So think of back bending more as heart opening. Let whatever feelings arise. And let them be tethered to your awareness, to your breath, to your intention, personal and collective, to your dedication of clarity. Inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, finger pads down. Shift your hips back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold, right knee over the, underneath the right hip, so there's a straight line up and down of the thigh. Inhale to lengthen, pull your left hip back, left heel forward. You're welcome to stay here or start to lengthen the left heel more forward, right knee more back, or any other variations you have here. Maybe you're floating it forward and back. 
your variation of Arda Hanuman or Hanuman. start to walk out of it. Hands on the inside. Bring your left shoulder under the left thigh. Palm flat. Right palm flat. Feel free to stay here or lift your back knee up. Come for a bind if you like. Back of the left hand on your left hip. Stay here. Maybe you use your right hand for support. Get your hips low. Keep walking that back heel forward. Hug your outer left hip in toward the center. And maybe you can come for a full bind. Keep walking forward. Look forward. Total awareness for three. Two. And one. Hands are flat under shoulders. Walk your left toes out to the left. Bend your knee, chaturanga, maybe extend your leg, float your back toes, kundanyasana B for three, two, and one, step back, or shoot back, chaturanga, take your back bend, might not look pretty, it's okay, it's the effort, downward facing dog, left leg lifts to the sky, turn your right hand out, open it up, flip it over, Wild thing or Urdhva Dhanurasana. Keep it all the way back around. Last vinyasa. Keep it lifted. I ignore that last part. Not the last vinyasa, but last one of this side. <laughs> Deep breath in, long breath out. Bring your hands closer together, high on your heels. If you can, keep your bum with your heels and then land in a squat. Malasana. Elbows to the inner thighs or inner knees, palms of the hands at your heart. Take a little moment of rest here. Oops, <laughs> for three deep breaths, or fall down onto your bum. You can always come to a seat with the soles of your feet together and your hips down. Always at every moment be aware of what you're doing. Good advice here. Watch yourself. Take your left fingertips out to the left. Move your right elbow into your inner right knee and turn open. Stay here or reach your right arm up. Put your hand behind you. Let's come for another bind. Open up your chest. You have to let it happen. Let's switch. Right arm out to the right. Feel free to use something to help you bind. I forgot to mention that earlier, but I'm sure you are already. Find a bind, fingertips, or grab your wrist. Roll your top shoulder open. Alright, coming back here. So we have an option for a hand balance here. You lift your hips up, turn your toes forward, and bind your right shoulder and left shoulder underneath you. Palms come flat behind your heels. Feel free to put them on blocks. Lean forward, lean back into the shelf of your elbows. So bend your elbows a lot. Get a nice hook there. And then from here, walk your right toes out. Maybe lift them up. Left toes out. Maybe lift them up. Maybe you can cross your ankle. You can try that. Or just be back enough. Lean forward more, so find cobra, that bhuja, or maybe extend your legs out. Tiki bus in the firefly pose. Try to 
circle here for three, two, and on one, if you can, come through a little crow pose and shoot back. I can't quite do that yet. Make your way into your vinyasa. Whew. <laughs> it doesn't always look like yoga journal. Practice acceptance and self-awareness. Be as you are. You have to let yourself wake up. Again, we'll hop through to a squat. Feel free to do a little kick of your bum with your heels. And then land your feet on the outside of your hands. Okay, we're going to add on to the bind. So if you didn't have the bind, please do try to find something to get that bind. It could be a towel, a sock, a strap. Left hand comes out to the left. Wraps around. Right hand comes behind. Now from here, we are going to try to stand up into a baby bird of paradise. So lift your hips. Actually, you don't even need to lift your hips. Lean the weight onto your left toes. Lift your left heel and step your right foot more to the center. You can help it there if you need. And then lean forward a lot into your right foot. And stand up. You have to round the spine first to get up. And then straighten the spine. And open up your knee. So we tried this pose the other night. You stay here or maybe look over your right shoulder. Ooh. Root down through your standing foot. Hold here. For three for two and one beautiful we'll come all the way down <laughs> bring hands underneath your shoulders lift your hips a little crow pose vinyasa <laughs> here we go downward facing dog deep inhale fix your pants <laughs> long exhale Again, walk your feet a little closer. Try to kick your bum with your heels. Super straight arms. Land again in a squat. Nice work. The right arm out to the right. Left hand behind. Find that bind. Use a strap or a towel or a sock. Come high onto your right toes. Lift your right heel and step your left foot more to the center. And now round in. You need to draw the core in and slowly start to stand up. <laughs> Bring that bind with you if you can. If you can't keep the bind, just bring the knee with you as you stand up. Stand tall. Over your left shoulder. Open up the knee for three, two, and one. Come back through center. Slowly lower down. Hands underneath your shoulders. Toes tucked. Row pose or any variation. Take your vinyasa. <sighs> and downward facing dog. Oops, forgot the extra chaturanga. <laughs> downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up to the side. Big breath in. Step your right foot more to the center. Warrior two. Let's put that all together. Bird of paradise pose. Right shoulder underneath your right thigh. Find your bind. Step your left foot to the top of your mat. Don't worry if you don't have the bind. Lift your right heel up. Press down into your left foot. Stand all the way up. Open up your shoulder, your chest. Kick your toes out to the right. Stand up tall. Maybe even look over your left shoulder for three, for two. <laughs> Hold on to it, and one, and lower down. It's okay if you just step back, open it up. Warrior two, and vinyasa. Your left leg lifts to the sky, step through. Warrior two. Go for a bind, left arm under, right arm behind. Step your right foot forward. Come high on your left toes, right foot more to the center. Stand up, bring it with you. You can hold on to your knee, you can use a strap. Stand up any way you can, doesn't matter if you have the bind. Be tall here, open your hip and chest. Extend, maybe look over your right shoulder. Hold on to it for three. Have a smile for two. 
and one. So good. Bring it back. Always stronger standing on my right leg. Warrior two. Take a vinyasa. Amazing work out there, everybody. I wish, I wish, I wish I could see you. Downward facing dog. And from here, your favorite, hopping through to your seat. If you're not sure what to do, take a look at me. Come high on your toes. Bend your knees a lot. Look forward. Get that idea of kicking your bum with your heels. And then sliding all the way through onto your seat. So give it a try. Knee on your seat. And let's open up to the long edge of the mat. Kavishna Konasana. One hand in front, one hand behind. Press your heels out, toes curl toward you. Press your fingertips behind you just to lengthen. Take an inhale here, lift your chest. And as you exhale, begin to hinge and fold. Feel free to walk your hands in any position that feels good. You might not get very far, that's fine. You can always soften your knees if you need. If you can go further, I like to press my hands to the inside of my ankles and open my chest to let, try to lay my belly and my chest down. You take five deep breaths wherever you are. Switch your game. One more breath in center. And slowly lift yourself up. Bring your right forearm inside or on top of your right thigh and your shin. Left hand to left hip, open it up and maybe extend. Try to keep both sitting bones down. If you can grab both. Uh, your right outer foot and your left, uh, sorry, place your right hand on your outer right foot, left fingertips maybe on top of your right hand, and open your chest, be every, anywhere that you can be here, it doesn't matter how low you go, most important that you're feeling a side body stretch, inner thigh stretch, hamstring stretch, try to keep your left sitting bones rooted down, underneath your arm. Look down, rise all the way up, left hand to your left thigh, inside or on top, right hand to right hip, open your chest, turn and look up, stay here or reach that right arm up and over, try to keep your right sitting bones rooted down, left hand to the outer left foot, maybe right hand on top, turn and look under, create space though, try not to stuff yourself in here, keep your top shoulder open. Right sitting bone rooted. Inhale, come all the way back up. Scoop your legs together. Turn to the front of your mat. Hashimotanasana, seated, straight legged forward fold. Move the flesh here on your seat, side to side. Keep your fingertips out wide. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold in. Again, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. You'll have 10 deep breaths here, so allow yourself to soften. with your right hand and sit up tall maybe extend your right leg reach your left arm back behind you stay here or roll onto your sacrum and float those 
right toes and hold here in this position for three, for two, and one. Lower back down very smoothly, left hand to the outer right foot. Roll back onto your sacrum, right arm reaches back, and maybe float your left toes. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Shake out your legs. Bring your seat toward the front of your mat. Plant your feet down. On your inhale breath, reach your arms forward. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way down onto your back. And when you get there, hug your knees into your chest. <clears throat> Cross your right ankle over your left thigh, just as we started and did throughout the class. Bring your left knee in toward your chest, but move it more to the left side. Press your right knee away using your outer right thigh, supine pigeon. Feels so good. Deep inhale. And long exhale. Feel free to stay here or extend your bottom leg. Hang on to your ankle or maybe your foot. As you bring the leg in, push this right knee away. You still get that hip opening, but now it's more into the hamstring and the calf. And you can either do this with the knee bent or the leg straight, right hand out to the right. Tip your whole shape over to the left side. So bottom leg is straight or bent. And look over top of your right hand and actively using your outer right thigh, push your right knee away. You're hanging on to those toes or your ankle. If your bottom knee is bent, hang on to your right ankle and push your right knee away. If your bottom leg is straight, hold on to the inside of your left foot. Push your right knee away. Bend your leg if you're if it's straightened. Roll everything back through center. Extend your legs. Give that a little shake out. Uh, floating Baddha Konasana. So bring a little basket underneath your feet, the outer edges of your feet. Pull your heels in towards your groin. Now let your knees open and maybe rock side to side. Welcome to stay here. If it feels good to open it up. Fully, you can. Kind of roll your sacrum down. Take me back to the mat, bring it all in. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh this time. Bring your right knee in toward your chest, but more out to the right. So you get deeper into that left hip. Keep your left foot flexed. Stay right here. You can always grab behind the thigh as well or extend your right leg to straight. Grab behind the calf, the ankle, or pull down on the foot as you push your left knee away. Keeping that left foot flexed. Now you can keep either shape, so the bent knee shape or the straight leg shape, and take your left arm out to the left. You're going to drop the whole shape carefully, use your core, over to the right side. If your leg is straight, hold on to the inside of your right foot with your hand. If your knee is bent, hold on to your left ankle with your right hand and push your knee away. So either way, you can get a nice stretch for the hip. Turn and look away from your knee. bottom knee is bent, bent uh, straight, bend it, <laughs> bring it back to center, unwind your legs, give your legs a little shake, and we'll move into happy baby, knees wide, feet pressing up, you're welcome to stay, or you can go for half happy baby, and extend your bottom leg to straight, sometimes this gives a much deeper stretch, and it's more of a hip flexor stretch, or the straight leg, so you decide. Mm -hmm. 
have your legs straight, maybe you want to come into even more of a hip opener by drawing that chin bone toward your chest. Whichever variation you're in, let's go for five more deep breaths. If your bottom leg is straight, even let it hover by flexing your toes towards you. Push your heel out and see what happens when you hover that leg straight. Two more breaths. Bend your right knee back in. Keep it start straight. Give your legs a little push up and down. Feel. And then we'll go back to happy baby if you like, or half happy baby. If you did half happy baby, I just need to adjust myself here. Maybe you want to extend that bottom leg completely straight. If you're in happy baby again, feel free to stay here, rock side to side, or try the variation of straightening one leg, bending the opposite knee. For those in have happy baby, if your bottom leg is, your heel is touching the mat, try to straighten it, pressing your heel out, toes curl toward you, and see what it's like to float that leg. Two deep breaths here. If you want, you can bring the shin bone across for a little deeper variation. Five more breaths wherever you are. Unwind yourself, bring your knees into your chest, big squeeze up and up and then rock side to side. And now we'll rock forward and back again, forward and back again to take a vinyasa. So you're welcome to cross over your ankles and push down into your hands and shoot back into Chaturanga or any variation that you like. Vinyasa. And from downward facing dog, we'll land on our shin bones at the top of our mat. So you can hop through or place your shin bones down. Rising up onto your shin bones for Ustrasana camel pose. And we will take three sets of camel today. For the first one, I would say take it a little bit easy. Second set option to bring the arms back. Third set option to drop back. And I'll show you all three of those. If you have a practice already, you, you're, you feel warmed up enough. And you'd like to do all three of them in uh, the full camel or the drop back, go for it. Or if you'd like to take a, a deeper back, a different back bend, you can lie on your back for a supported bridge or Urdhva Dhanurasana. So feel free to pad up your mat if you like, especially for the first one, just to get your bearings, see how it feels on your knees. Bring your hips to your hands to your hips and push your sacrum down. Toes are tucked to distance apart. Feel free if you have a block, you want to squeeze that block between your inner thighs on the short setting or between your ankles on the second setting, you can. It helps to integrate, it gives you the sensation of how far apart your knees and hips should be. Press your sacrum down toward the mat and start to lift up and out of the pelvis. And a, a good thing I, I like to think about here is heart open rather than back bend. So lift up and out of the pelvis and maybe you stay here, maybe the head goes back. If you're ready to bring the hands to your heel, you can try that if you like on this first set. You'll slowly swing your right arm all the way forward and back, hand to your heel, left arm. I like to do this big backstroke to make sure I have all the side body lengthening and then press the thighs and hips forward so they're not leaning back. Head maybe drops back. When you're ready to come out, hands to the lower back again. Let your head be the last thing to come up. If it's a drop back, hit to the heel, block comes out. Place one hand on your heart and the other hand on top. Come back to your personal intention. Come back to your collective intention. Bring all your awareness to your heart center. 
some dedication for your class today. Who is it? Maybe it's to a cause or a place or a person. Picture them here with you in your heart. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. Let's come back for a second back bend. Uttrasana. This time, if you like, you can go right into the hands to the heels. Or if you're in another variation, you can go there as well. Or hands can be at your heart as well. Toes can be untucked if you want a deeper back bend. Maybe knees a little bit wider than your toes. Wherever you are, start to arch back, hands to heart or hands to your hip. If you're ready for the heels, go for the heels. If your toes are untucked, it's a little longer to reach, so it will be a deeper back bend. Hips pressing forward. Thighs vertical. Hands to your lower back. Take the hips down and toes are untucked. Hands to your heart, chin to chest. Breathe. Every deep breath is a love note to yourself. Okay, last and final Ustrasana. I'll give you the option for the drop back if it's something in your practice. If you're just beginning to work on it, hands will have to start at your heart and toes will be tucked. And I'll demonstrate it. You can try that if you like. It's something you need to work towards. You might not go all the way back today, but you have to start somewhere. So here's the chance to start. Otherwise, take one of the other options. Start to arch back. Keep going until your hands touch down. Walk your feet out from underneath you. Press your limbs to straight and hold here. From either of the variations, you can bring your right foot into center. Bring your left knee in toward your chest. Press your left leg up. Lower it back down. Ekapada Dhanurasana. Maybe you bring your knees back down, come back through camel. Everybody come up. You're welcome to lower down as well onto your back if you need. And then join us here. Again, hands to heart. Take a breath in and remind yourself that you're still here. your seat. Take your legs straight out in front of you. Left knee in toward your chest and then open it up. Janu Shirshasana. Fingertips out to the side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale to lengthen, flat back. Exhale to fold in. Feel free to stay here or left hand on the outside of your right foot. Pull your right fingertips out to the right and pull yourself through. If you keep flexing your left heel forward and toes toward you and really pull your outer right hip back, you should feel this down the outside of your right leg. And if you can walk both hands to the right, same idea. your center. Make sure your left knee is on the mat. Left fingertips back behind you. Turn your right toes down. Arch back and up. All the way back down. Other side. Legs are extended. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Open it out to the right. Fingertips to the side. Inhale, reach up. Janu Shushasana. Exhale to fold. Inhale brings you to lengthen. Exhale to deepen into it. Feel free to stay here or right hand to the outside of your left foot. Left fingertips 
go out wide or pull yourself through. Keep rooting your right, uh, left heel forward, pull your left hip back. Stay here or both hands out to the left. your right knee is on the mat, right fingertips behind you, sweep up and back. Slowly coming back down. We'll cross over your ankles. One more vinyasa here. You have the option for a chin stand before we come down for our final inversion. If you want to come to lotus pose, you can, or cross-legged position. This is something you have to work on if it's not in your practice today, don't worry. Come forward, fingertips either pointing toward your legs or out to the sides, lean forward into your elbows, try to float your legs. And if you have a more advanced practice, you'll come right down onto your chin and let the legs lift up to release. And then take your last vinyasa. If you didn't want to do chin stand, you can take a vinyasa any way you like. And last, jump through to your seat. And make your way into onto your back, unless you're going for sheer shasana or headstand. Just give me a moment to release a puppy. Sarvagasana, shoulder stand. If you're going for Shirshasana A, you can try to use a wall if you need. Take 10 deep breaths wherever you are. taking shoulder stand or plow pose. You might want to take a fish pose at the end and I'll do that with you. If you've taken headstand or other variation, you can make your way into a child pose maybe to release that when you're ready for a few breaths. out of your inversion you can lie down onto your back knees are bent lift up your hips and slide your palms underneath your bum extend your legs to straight hug your shoulders toward each other so right away your chest starts to lift and now press into your hands your forearms and elbows and leverage your whole upper body off the mat including your head tilt your head back 
and lightly lower the head down onto the mat. So crown of the head down, chin up, heart is open. It's a very deep heart opener, so let the love light pour out of your heart. Maybe float your legs. When you're ready to come out, lower your legs, chin in toward the chest, release your hands. Any last posture that you like to do, maybe a happy baby or hugging your knees into your chest. And I'll stay with you today for a short Shavasana and then we'll come up for a final chant together, a chant for peace. Relax completely. When you're ready, let your arms and legs come out to the side. Bring in awareness of your personal and collective intention, your dedication, and let those soften into you with your next round of breath. Inhale, fill yourself up with all of that awareness. And as you exhale, let it completely soften into you with surrender. notice multiple aspects of any given situation. Awareness empowers you to walk consciously through the doorway of healthy choice. as you reach your arms up and over your head, point your toes, expand fully, and soften. Take your time to bend your knees, bring your feet to the mat, roll gently to your right side, and stay there for just a couple of breaths. I always like this time to make a wish for someone else or for yourself. Send it out. And when you're ready, bring that with you as you rise up to your seat. Together, we'll join our voices and our energy in a collective chant of Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Shanti is peace, especially now. Peace for yourself, peace for each other, peace for the whole world. We really need it right now. Deep collective breath in. Full sigh out. Inhale for Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you. Each and every one of you, thank you so much for joining me in this practice. 
virtually right now live or when you do it later. I feel your energy. I love your energy. I can't wait to see you again here in this format or again in person. Please reach out and connect. Namaste. Have a wonderful rest of your day and happy holidays if you celebrate them.